Hello and welcome to At The Music with the great Puperto. And Hat Puppet. Hey, I don't have a hat. Hey, fuck you, you fucking puppet. They've been like this all day. Well, the first rays of sun are upon us. And if the name Summer Flake weren't prescient enough, the Melbourne-based singer-songwriter has just released a new EP. <laughs> How about that, Zach? Great stuff. So, Zach, what did you think of Time Rolls By? I really liked Time Rolls By by Summer mm. Flake. I think that she's got a real knack for, um, for melody, and I think that the production's really nice for like a sort of local record. She's got really gorgeous harmonies. I mean, I was shocked to find out that it was um, like essentially a solo project mm. because I really thought that this, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if she like what her band is behind it, but she's just like, it sounds really fully formed and yeah. really fully fleshed out. Uh, very much in the vein of that kind of like 60s melodic pop of like the Beach Boys or something. It's very, very sun drenched, but it has that nice kind of Courtney Barnett-esque uh, sense of melancholy adrift within the sort of like summery washed out you know, there's yeah. sort of like a sort of the... the really catchy, yeah. yeah. By the second listen, I knew all the songs. Yeah. Really good. Um, and I just love the sort of, like, the Nico Case vibes of the second track. There's a great sort of country twang here and there. It's actually quite diverse. Um, but a, lo a lot of the guitar licks, um, like, had that great sort of drones vibe to it. Really sort of dusty Australian um, licks, uh, which, which, which is really nice. And it really works well with her voice, which is this beautiful... Sort of actually, well, I mean, we listened to Yola Tango last week. I got heaps of Yola Tango vibes all yeah. across that. She sounds very much like Georgia. I'm gonna give it uh, like a very strong three Zacks and half a Gotchi. Zach, Zach, Zach. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's four Zacks for me. Zach, 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 Zach. After the departure of bassist Peter Hook, New Order were left neither new nor in order, leaving it a tall order for there to be any new New Order, any mortar. But against all odds, new New Order is here. Matt, is it just what the doctor new ordered, or is it shit? For me, I don't think the pop sheen really works with New Order. I just don't think that like modern production really is that flattering for them, um, especially because it puts uh, the lyrics of Sumner into the light, and they are like you know abominable. In the past, I felt like that was sort of buried more, or like more, less conspicuous. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, you got green eyes. Oh, you got blue eyes. It's cute eyes. when he's oh, young. You got... It's cute when it he's young. It was never cute. <laughs> we shit us from day one, and you didn't care because that track is so freaking yeah. catchy that you're like, yeah, who gives a fuck what colour her yeah. eyes are? And I think that on this record, uh, I disagree. I'm sure his lyrics are shit. I wasn't listening to a word he was saying mm. because you know I knew that'd be that you could you knew that'd be terrible just by looking at the track titles. It's a bunch of middle-aged men sitting in a room making synth pop, <laughs> and and one woman. Sorry. Maybe that's uh, what I can't escape. Who's excellent? I should probably point out that the woman in it, Jillian, who was like missing for the past uh, ten years of New Order, she was <laughs> like in the eighties and nineties, and she's come back. Uh, and she's awesome. She's she's the one that's pumping out all those synth lines that yeah. have been like and great. desperately great. missing. And I think we're desperately missing from like Waiting for the Siren, which was much more like guitar driven mm. and a bit shit. Like I think that like it really works when they are pumping out those real 90s like, you know, let's all do ecstasy, throw your hands in the air, house numbers. Well, yeah, I think like the songs are too long and the album's too long. So You're right. Like the songs are like they just have these jams in them and often the jams are really good as you said they've got some really good synthesizer players um but they just they're pop songs and often they're sort of treated uh, like a you know a rave number or something like that and it just kind of feels like a bit of an awkward fit for me oh i totally disagree because you know like a lot of this record is produced by um one of the chemical brothers yeah but you know i think if you were going on a family trip Mm. You know, down near the beach house, this would be a fun album to have yeah. on in the car. Yeah. You know, it's like if you want to, you know, you can't bring your mum or dad along to every rave, you know? But now you is, can. This is like a ketamine less rave record. Yeah, okay, you know what sure. I mean? yeah. There's no ketamine anywhere on this record. No ketamine inside. It's, no, it's, it's a family friendly rave record, <laughs> you know? And I think it pulls it off. I'm going to okay. give it four Zacks. Zach, 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 Zach. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I can do. Bernard Sumner singing like a teenager in his 60s. Wait, no, he's 59. Regardless, he's almost 60. I give it three Zacks. Zach, Zach, Zach. 
And so, another episode of At The Music. I hate At The Music. You two will never be happy. <laughs> hey, hat puppet, where'd your hat go? Oh, I don't know. I loved that hat. <laughs>